Well, here's today's first job. It is a beautiful FN2 in for remap. Jensen's going to comment that it's not a red one. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's not. not yeah, yeah. No, it's a black one. Uh, so first things first, we're going to stick it up on the dyno. I'm going to do the standard power run. See what she puts out. And then we're going to use the Ecotech software. I'm going to start mapping it. So here we go. Good morning, everyone. Okay, so standard power run completed and we've made just over 220 brake horsepower, which I think is incredibly good. Uh, this car's got a sports cat. It's got the three inch Miltec cup system from Tegua, also available at Dino Days, and a pipe across induction code with a, a bit of a map adapter. So I think that's done pretty well. Oh, sorry, it's also got the R RBC. Let's have a look. It's got the RBC man intake manifold. So yeah, okay, good starting point. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flush the stock ECU with an Ecotech race ROM. That gives us the ability to data log and start tuning and see where we get. So here we go. Where you go. The way I go, the way I'm going. I thought you usually reel off a list of mods. Okay, I'll do that for you, Rich. He does it for me. Mate. It's got a pipe across induction kit with some form of math adapter. It's got a mil full Miltec manifold sports cat and three inch single exit exhaust system, which is the new cup spec type one that Johnny at Tegua has had to develop. And uh, I think it sounds great to be fair. Yeah, it did sound good. I haven't had a look underneath to see what it looks like yet, but I'm going to do that and stick my head under there and have a quick I look. have. It looks all right, that. Um, yeah, I've not had a look myself personally. Um, did make good power. Made good power in standard form. Yes, uh, it did. You know, mate, I can't remember. What did you make when we ran 220. it? 220. Yeah, 220 mark, uh, just running it, obviously, on the standard map. Uh, put the ECU tech license on there and obviously started mapping. We sort of finished on 229, which is I'm really happy with that. Uh, it has got an RSE inlet manifold on it as well, hasn't RB it? RB RBC. RBC. Inlet, think. you think it has it or hasn't it? it has. Yeah, so it has got an inlet manifold on it as well. So that's why we're up on the power. Um, you know, it, there's a difficult one here because it's made the same sort of power as Dan's. So, are you arguing the exhaust is that good that it's made that sort of power, or are you saying, well, we've obviously got cameras fitted to Dan's, very similar mods to it, but in Dan's instance, we've made a lot, we've made about another 10 wheel horsepower, so there's more power across the curve basically, but it hasn't made any more P power. So it's one of those. Um, I'm really happy with mine, by the way. Yeah, it certainly looks like a good exhaust. It certainly looks like it'll, it'll do the job. I don't know what the 
what the retail price on one of these is um, right now. I think they're slightly more expensive than the 70mm Tegula system. Mm. Uh, obviously, with a sports car, it's almost double, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, of course. But, uh, it, it does look like a good quality bit of kit, and if that's what you're laying out your money for and you want three inch, especially if you're going to go supercharged, then maybe that's a good option. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely track friendly because it's not screamingly loud. No. It's just got a really nice tone. Yeah, it's got so a nice, it, tone, like, nice tone, like you say, not screaming loud. Which is probably why it's been designed like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, don't be wrong. As an exhaust system, we know that the the exhaust can be a bit funny on the FN twos, and and they really do suffer with power. I mean, it's got a good exhaust system and it's made good power. So at that point, you, you're assuming those two are tied together. Um, These are available on our website, by the way. Mm, okay, then. they are very nice. But this is our first experience of uh, tuning them on. Yeah, it's the first time we've seen one on a car in it, so it's uh, it's gone well. I think that's positive. Mm -hmm. um, Shall we have a photograph? Yeah, let's have a look at the graph. Come on. Okay, so red line is as she came in. Now, obviously, she was fully modified before we ran her in standard form on the dyno. So it did pretty well with the mods that it had uh, in its initial run. The blue line is as she leaves here. And as you can see, we made power across the rev range there, made some peak power, uh, made some power in the mid range. And we do finish on 229 brake horsepower, 192 at the wheels. So, yeah, really happy with that. It's a really nice car. He's a great guy. Uh, I've been having a chat with him this morning. He's a, he's a YouTube follower, so we really appreciate that. And we appreciate all your support for watching these videos. Um, means a lot to us, so thanks very much again for your support. Um, code word for this video is going to be um, three inch. Ooh, you only need three inch. One in, one out, one going in and out. It's a good joke, that. Um, so I'll leave you on that joke and we will see you on the next one, won't we, Rich? Jensen? Good lad. See you soon, guys. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it.